Welcome back to Foxtech and in this video I'm gonna guide you through the process of reconnecting your Magic Mouse to your Mac. So you probably used the mouse with a different device or perhaps just disconnected it but I'm gonna show you how you can get it back up and running. At first your Magic Mouse has already been paired with your Mac obviously because of course if you want to reconnect it it means that it was connected before so ideally it should reconnect automatically when you start clicking around with the mouse near your computer you'll usually see a pop-up indicating that the mouse is connected however if this doesn't happen there are a few steps you can take the first thing to check is whether the magic mouse is turned on on the back of the mouse there is a small physical switch you can toggle this switch to turn the mouse on or off. You know it's enabled when you see a green background behind the switch. So make sure to switch uh, that this switch is set to on and then start clicking around to see if the mouse reconnects automatically. If your Magic Mouse still doesn't reconnect, head over to the settings app on your Mac and tap on the Bluetooth section. Since we're only reconnecting the mouse, it should already appear in the list of devices. So try clicking on the connect button next to the magic mouse in this list. This often resolves the issue and the mouse should reconnect at this point. However, if the mouse doesn't reconnect, it might be due to it being connected to another device. For instance, and this has happened to me personally, if you've paired your magic mouse with an iPad, or another computer, you might not want to reconnect to your original Mac. As I say, I have encountered this issue a few times and the solution that worked for me was to click forget this device in the Bluetooth settings on the device, like the iPad, the other one, so it could reconnect back to my main computer. So yeah, once the mouse is disconnected from the other device, it should then be able to reconnect with your Mac. So that's about it hope you found this tutorial useful if you did make sure to hit the thumbs up subscribe below and i will catch you in the future